After the incredible response to episode 1, we're back again. Leicester City has brought in new transfers. Anthony Martial was revealed in the previous episode. We're going to give the guy a new role in his career. He needs to be the main guy. And we have also brought in the like of Hansko. That is apparently pronounced uh, that way. I was saying Hanko all the time. The Czech Republic fans in the comments have corrected me. And I am extremely happy to welcome these two players into the team. But guys, you have come in with a lot of suggestions specifically for the one and only position we need to improve, which is the goalkeeper position. We cannot have Ward in there. And you have said this. I've missed this full on career mode. Keep it up. Transfer suggestion. Bring Livakovic for the goalkeeper position. He has been linked to the club. And you know what? That is the big suggestion that we're going to kick off today's episode with. Last episode, as you guys might remember, our team has come in with a performance against Crystal Palace in our first Premier League match. And we won that one 2-1 after a beautiful, stunning comeback of the team and Anthony Martial tearing up the place. Let's see what we can achieve today. A four-year contract has been signed for Livakovic, who is coming into the Leicester City squad for 27 Point five million. He has held his team down to, or was it, eight clean sheets in the past six months. And obviously, everyone has seen what Livakovic has done at the World, Club, World Cup. And people thought that he would move to a big team, but he didn't. And now he's stuck in Croatia. And now, I mean, I shouldn't say stuck in Croatia, but he's 82 rated right now. He's coming into our squad. Dinamo Zagreb is a good team. Don't get me wrong, but it is time to make that step up. The man is 27 years old, and this is the perfect transfer suggested by so many of you assistant coaches in the comments down below. Ivakovic is here, and he is beautiful. Yes, I said that. Thank you once again for the suggestions. When we look at the bench of our team right now, we can clearly tell that there is a lack of attacking options. So we need a striker backup, a center attacking midfield backup, and a starting 11 center back. All of this is going to be very hard to achieve if you consider that we only have 38 million to do all of it, especially the center back position. We might have to go for someone lower rated, but someone that can jump up in rating quite quickly. And I will be searching for it but there is one player that has been suggested to me and i couldn't resist the comment of omar yashim it would be so iconic if he brought back any spardi for the bench or even as a starter because of the lack of depth guys this was the perfect suggestion here he is any spardi is back yes i am so excited i swear I don't think I've been this excited about any transfer I've done in a long time. Look, don't get me wrong. I know Castagne, who has been used for this deal, is a starter for Leicester City right now. But he's not someone that I personally feel attached to. And I do think Pereira is better. So he is going. The backup right back is going. So we can bring in a midfielder that can help us in many, many positions. He can play left midfield, cut inside, shoot from far away. He can play in the camp position as well as we can see right here. He doesn't lose rating. He can also play in center midfield if necessary. This is one of the true icons of my career mode content. And he's now here. Oh, mate. I am so happy. Here he is, the new center back of the team. Before you see him, he's Belgian and he has an incredible haircut. Yes, he has a massive amount of hair and it will look beautiful on the pitch. But the main reason as to why I got him into the team is the fact that you guys kept suggesting Belgian players in the comments down below. And you said that there are plenty of Belgians in the team already. Let's bring in more. And yes, I agree. The Belgian connection with Leicester City is there. And Arthur Theate is someone that has just joined, I believe, Rennes in, in the uh, league. Uh, and he will be coming in and holding down the position of Fais. And he doesn't cost me too much. It only cost me like 13 million. So this gives this man right here time to recover from his injury. And by the time he recovers, I am assuming that this man will be on his same rating and then they can battle it out. Whoever plays alongside Hansko, that will be decided between the two. But Theata is here. Yes, he's left-footed. Both my centre-backs right now are left-footed. But 
honestly, no one cares when you have both center backs being right footed. So I shouldn't care if both of them are left footed. For the striker position, many of you will not recognize who the hell this is. And this is something I pride myself upon. I love bringing in players that a lot of you guys don't know. And this right here is an Argentinian striker that played in the MLS and was competing for the title up until the finale and lost it there. But it is a player that has gotten 17 goals and 7 assists for Philadelphia Union in the past calendar year. It's Julian Carranza. And in my opinion, this could be the perfect option as a backup striker for this season. By the time this season finishes, I hope to see that he has done bits for our team. Only cost me 4 million. There's so much value to be had in the MLS. He comes in as a 71 rated player. Yes, that is not a lot of a rating to be had, but I genuinely believe this guy's class. And straight away, first game back in the MLS, he got himself two goals. So yeah, watch out for this one. He could be another big one coming out of them out of America and moving into Europe at some point. The Argentinian is looking solid and he now belongs to Leicester City. This next transfer is from Japan. It's a player that I love watching. He plays in the Austrian League. He has, let me tell you right here, 15 goals and 4 assists in a previous calendar year, or this current calendar year, I should say, and his name is Keito Nakamura. Guys, please put this name into your brains. I'm telling you right now, this guy will get a massive move, just like Mitoma from Brighton, and everyone will be looking at it thinking, how did no one know this kid? He is incredible. He really is. The way he plays, his style of play, his ability on the pitch, it makes no sense that he's currently in Austria playing for one of the teams that isn't even the best. So it really, really shocks me. But Nakamura is here and he is going to be another additional option, especially for the wings, as I plan on changing Enis Bardi into a center attack in mid. That right there is our transfer window done. And I got to say, I am very satisfied with all the transfers we have made. Let's now go on and take on the rest of the Premier League. Livakovic, the penalty killer. Can he make his first penalty save? It's against Paqueta. Bottom right. Yes, he can. On the other side, it's now Yuri Tielemans against West Ham. I'll go same corner. Another save. We have just been given yet another penalty against West Ham. Can I smash this into the top left this time? I aimed top left. What the hell just happened? Come on, Martial. Come on, Martial. This pitch is covered with bubbles, man. I'm just going to slip. Martial from that angle? Eh, it's impossible. And sadly, those results only led to a final score of 0-0 between West Ham and Leicester City, putting us into the eighth position with four points. And... A penalty taker change had to come. The next opponent was ready, and so are we. It is Leicester City against Newcastle United. Keep up that run, Martial. Keep up that run. I saw you running. Why did you stop? You can get that. Yes, Martial. Show me what you got. No. The penalty taker has been changed for a reason. James Madison. How? Are you kidding? Once again, a huge disappointment. Another one-point game for Leicester. So after those results, we are sat in the ninth position with Leicester City. By the way, sorry if you guys didn't have in-game audio in the first game. But Leicester City in five points in a decent position, I guess. First place only has seven. Three games into the season. We can't really complain about that. Leeds United as the next opponent. But I came here into the menus to showcase you guys something very important. The position changes. Madison, center attack and midfielder, plus two in his rating. That is huge. Harvey Barnes being changed into a left wing, plus one. That's what I like to see. Let's bring those skills in for that man. And then Kenny Tete being changed to a right wing here. Goes up by plus one. I could tell he's not built for right midfield. We need to play those players in a more attacking position. And by the way, as I'm going through this, Pat Sendaka has gone up in his rating, which is lovely to see. But I do believe we have more players changing position. Nakamura, instead of left midfield, left wing, gets him a plus one as well. And I think we are done after that one. So how does that impact the starting 11 now that the positions have changed? Players move further up the pitch. I need the team to be a bit more attacking. Martial can't do all of it by himself. We have two midfielders here who can hold it down pretty nicely in defense, so they don't necessarily need support from the likes of Kenny Tete and Barnes. After the position changes, I felt confident going into the Leeds United game. 
As I mentioned before, we now have multiple attackers. Bonds, you got to score that. Are you freaking kidding? Whoa, offside. Surely there's no way he's on. What? How's he on? Livakovic, please, please, please. Let's not concede two. Yes, Livakovic. Bro, I'm insane at penalties. We're here again. We are here again. I'm going to save it. Don't what? I went into the right spot. Oh, come on, game. How many penalties do you want to give him? All right, so Madison has missed. And of course, we have seen Tielemans miss as well. Anthony Martial, straight down the center. Yes, all right, 2-1. Maybe there's a chance. So as far as I can remember, I just lost this game 2-1. But apparently, Enis Bardi had scored a goal, and Tete did as well, after I scored the pen. Why didn't I get to take him? I'll take the three points, but what the hell, EA? Luckily, those three points were extremely helpful to keep us in the top 10. Eight points now. So after giving a little bit of control to EA with the highlights, it's now time to step in ourselves fully, playing the first game. I cannot wait to sub on the likes of Nakamura, Enis Bardi. This is the first proper game, guys. We've had some good results. I'll take them, but I want to earn the three points. Oh, Kenny Tete. That is ridiculous, son. Keep going. Martial, can you make that run in there, please? The cross is whipped in for you, Martial. Good chance starting off. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm surprised I didn't break his legs there. But you can tell our defense is no joke. Oh, what the hell is that pass? Hold on. I see movement here. That's the one. This is football. How's that not going in, man? Oh, Leno, piss off. Lovely. Teate. Hans go. Bonds. No. It's finally time for the proper debut of Enis Bardi, who hasn't been changed into a, a uh, into a cam yet. Bonds is getting taken off, and I will give a chance to Caranza. Lovely steal by Pereira, but gives it away straight away. Twice. He now had the ball and loses it. We're getting out played in the center, and we somehow just about managed to get that under control. Carranza and more. Here goes Nakamura. Nakamura, I'm looking for you. Come on, son. I know you're only 70 rated, but you can do this. Into Carranza. Yes! Get in! It's the super subs of Leicester City. Julian Carranza has scored. We have a new Argentinian in town. Julian Alvarez, be careful. We have the one and only off the bench. Yes, three points. Where does that put us in the league? That puts us into the fourth position. We are ahead of teams like Manchester City, Arsenal and Chelsea. What the hell is happening to them? That is ridiculous. Up at the top, we have Manchester United in real life winning the Carabao Cup. Once again, congratulations. Liverpool in second. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? But guys, that has been incredible. So far, we have done really well. I do believe that Enis Bardi, his position change should be ready, though. But for some reason, we have... Oh, there we go. We have it now. Enis Bardi to Cam, 77 rated. Lovely. That is something I wanted to see. He's going to be even better now. And then obviously, the team itself now, with these signings, with the position changes, why is... Why is Barnes lower than Tete? That really bothers me. I like symmetry. Anyways, let's see who has been scoring the goals so far in this season. We have had one goal from Madison, one from Tete, one from Martial, one from Barnes. But obviously Martial with the most goal contribution so far, having two assists to his name. It's beautiful to see players like Carranza come on and score, especially considering the fact that Nakamura is only like 71 rated, barely has any strength to his name. I can't believe he has pulled this off. Honestly, it surprises me to see how well he's done in that situation. But right here, we can see the man has pace, he has agility, but again, strength, 70. That might surprise a lot of people, but I am very happy that he has pulled that off for us. Guys, this is going to be such a fun career mode. I enjoyed the hell out of today's episode, and I hope you did too. If you have any suggestions for transfers to make in the January transfer window, 
keep in mind that the starting 11 is probably set for now, but you can obviously come in and support me with some suggestions for the bench or future players or formations that we should try out with this team. This will heavily be reliant on how you guys support and uh, like give me ideas. But yeah, so far so good. Leicester City is doing great. And I am continuously upgrading the difficulty just to let you guys know on it. I've taken shot error down to 35. Let's go a few more with this and make this career mode even harder for me to go ahead and do bits in. Because obviously we want this to be tough and it will be tough. And we are creating a legendary team. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care and peace.